Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And guys, if you are new to my channel and watching this video for the first time, then please pause the video, subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon to get notification whenever I post a new video. And guys, I have been thinking a lot about this video. So I I made this video earlier, but I was not able to post that video because of some storage problem. I had to delete that video. So I'm back with that video. So if you are someone who are regular with my channel, then you may know that I did a mukbang challenge in my previous video where I ate spicy ramen and spicy chicken, but that was a massive fail. So after I posted that video, most of my friend, most of my friend, yeah, they were requesting about the recipe for that for that chicken. So I'm back. I'm presenting you the recipe for the spicy chicken that I ate in my previous video. So guys, stay tuned. Don't skip the video, guys. Please watch the video till the end to get. The recipe for the chicken that I made last time. So here are all the ingredients that you will need while making the spicy chicken. So at first we have to marinate the chicken. For marination you will need chicken, turmeric powder, chili powder, salt, egg, corn flour and soy sauce. So this is for marination part and after marination we have to make a paste so for the paste we will need some dry chilies, some garlic, some sesame seed, some stir fry sauce. So guys let's start with marination part. For marination I'll add some turmeric, some chili powder, some salt. And some corn flour some soy sauce and some egg and mix it properly and I've already cleaned the chicken with some running water. So guys, now I'm going to prepare a paste for the chicken. So to prepare the paste, I'll need oil, some garlic, some roasted sesame seed, and some dry chili. But first I have to fry the garlic and dry chili so let's add the garlic and dry chili it's done guys so guys the paste made with garlic and dry chili is done so to complete the paste, we have to add roasted sesame seed. So after adding the sesame seed, uh, I'll add some oil. This is hot oil. So I'll be using the oil that I used to fry the chili and the garlic. we have to mix it properly this paste is done so i will start frying my chicken so my chicken is done now i'm going to add the chili paste that i made earlier some salt according to your taste 
Now it's time to add the chicken. Now I'll add some stir fry sauce. You can also add chili sauce and tomato sauce. And at the end, add some coriander leaves for some flavor. Thank you so much guys for watching my video, for tolerating me for so long. And guys, I hope you're gonna love my video and I hope you will try this recipe someday in your life and i assure you that you're gonna love the recipe because this chicken is really really delicious and guys keep supporting me keep supporting my video keep liking and keep sharing my video thank you so much guys